Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify a radical expression using the product property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. In our last video, we talked about the product property and how to apply it. So we're going to do it again with these three problems. We're going to simplify square root of 500, the cube root of 16, and the fourth root of 243. Let's start with 500. Well, again, product property says we can really separate the inside to be multiplication. We want to do that while planning ahead. We know we have to take the square root of a number, so we want to see what's a perfect square that we can deal with. 500 is, well, 100 times a 5. Pretty easy. The product property says that we can split this up to be 100, or square root of 100, times the square root of 5. And then from there, we have the square root of 100, easy to know, is a 10. So we have 10 square root 5 left over. There's nothing else I really can do to simplify this. And we have our answer. Now the third root, a little more difficult. We have a third root of 16. Okay, We want to break this now to not, well, what's a perfect square, but a perfect cube. That's going to be 8. We have a third root of, instead of 16, I have 8 times a 2 here. And the more you practice this, the better you'll get at recognizing this. Now we're going to separate this to be, well, two different parts. The third root of 8 times the third root of 2. Now be careful when you're writing here. A lot of times students will start and then forget the 3, and then think it's a square root, and then get confused. Well, the third root of 8 is, small. Well, 8 being a perfect cube of 2. 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the third power. So we have a 2 here times, well, the third root of 2, and we have our answer. Lastly, <clears throat> this one's a little more, well, difficult. As you can tell, it's getting harder. The fourth root of 243. Well, 243 is the multiplication of an 81 times a 3. Right? 3 times 80 is 240, right? And then 3 times 1 is 3. 81, sometimes you'll memorize this. I don't always have it memorized, but occasionally. 81 is a perfect fourth. That's what we want to call it. We can break this up using the product property, and we have the fourth root of 81 times the fourth root of 3. Now, the fourth root of 81 comes out to be a good old 3, and then the fourth root of 3 is just itself. And so the fourth root of 243 simplifies to be 3 times the fourth root of 3. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify a radical expression using the product property. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.